When I look at you, I see that you are possessed. Stop talking heel of TV Joshua, Odumejete Pastor Chris Okoti. Hello guys, welcome back to Plan B TV News, our Plan B TV talk show. In today's gist, we're going to be discussing issues about the body of Christ. Just as it is, the Anabra-based clergic man, Prophet Odumeje, has issued a stern warning to his colleague in the ministries, Pastor Chris Okoti, to desist from speaking ill of the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua, who died in June early this year, 2021. The one it comes to weeks after Christo Kutsi released a video in which he condemned T.B. Joshua, describing him as a false prophet, sorcerer, and one who wanted to assume the place of God on heads. He makes no words when he took the diseased clergic man, pointing out what he claims as a pattern to show he that Joshua was a fake man of God. So I want you guys to watch this part of the video. We'll be right back to give you the rest gist. Now in the spirit realm, when you say that you are the son of somebody, it doesn't mean that there's some biological procreation that has occurred. It means that you are equal with that person. The Jews crucified Jesus because he claimed to be the son of God. And they said to him that if you say that you are the son of God, you make yourself equal with God. And that is blasphemy. And so they crucified him. So when this man calls himself by Jesus, son of Jesus, he's claiming equality with Jesus. He's saying he is another Jesus. Now you get the point. That's the pattern. He's a magician who pretends to be a prophet. He's connected to the Jews, to the nation of Israel. And he calls himself another Jesus. That's the pattern that Joshua has. He is a magician, a sorcerer, and calls himself a prophet. Notice, he doesn't call himself an apostle. He doesn't call himself a teacher. He doesn't call himself a pastor. Because if he calls himself by any other name outside of a prophet, he does not fulfill the pattern. So he must stick with that <laughs> appellation. He must call himself prophet so so and so. So that's why he stuck with that word, that name, that terminology, that appellation. Because it is a prophetic assignment appellation. That's why he had to call himself prophet. So he's a magician who claims to be a prophet, but he's a false prophet and calls himself Joshua to identify with the nation of Israel and calls himself another Jesus. That's what he believes, that he's another Jesus. So he's by Jesus. The same as Jesus, equal with Jesus. That is the pattern that he has in scripture. And that is the pattern he has followed because if he didn't have that pattern and didn't follow that pattern, then power that is necessary for him to carry out whatever assignment that Satan gives to him would not be engendered. Are you still here? And notice what the Bible says, how Jesus went about, so he's proactive in doing good. How Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good after he had been anointed. That Notice what the Bible says, how Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good and healing. So there must be healing in his ministry. Now notice what, notice the construction. He went about doing good and healing those that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. So the healing ministry must have a proclivity or an inclination towards deliverance. See? So when you look at the, the, the ministry of Joshua, he has, he has a ministry that involves healing but with a, with special emphasis on deliverance because he has to pattern it, you know, after what the Bible says, about the modus operandi of the Lord Jesus. These particular videos of Christo Kutsi submission drew reactions for many Nigerians, including other clergymen, who felt it was in the poor taste for him to speak ill of the person who have died and has been buried. Speaking during his sermons in his church this morning, Odumeje slammed to Kutsi for speaking ill of the TV Joshua and not allowing him to rest in peace. He said, Okoti, with his heel comments, does not want the families of the diseased man of God to mourn in peace. 
He went further to throw a threatening words and said, Young man, we have respected you enough and I have never seen you done anything in this life. I have never seen you save any souls. You have no right to talk about him. You are not in the same qualifications. You are not in the same spiritual balance. You are too far canon to know who TV Joshua is to open up your mouth. I want to correct a stupid person that I want to speak something. And that was a man that don't want the general to rest in peace and allow their family to mourn the general. And this man is Chris Okotie. Young man, we have respected you enough and I have never seen you done anything in this life. I have never seen you save any soul. I have never seen you done one miracle that TB Joshua have ever done. But you come out and say that TB Joshua is a devil and you started to analyze the ways. When I answer Emmanuel, that is means I am a devil to answer the name of my father. When I name my church synagogue, because you have right to name your son your name. You have right to your son to answer your name. If you answer the name of Jesus Christ, is it wrong? Is it mean that we are Christ? And we must answer the name of our father. And you start to come out and start to try to prove yourself. And you wake up one day and said that they appointed you. You have sent messages to, uh, uh, to many parties and tell them that you are the president of this nation. When I'm looking at you, I see that you are possessed. Now listen to me when you face the general when you want to talk about a man before you start to speak against anybody then you bring your video in your qualification that means that two of you people are in, in, in equal that is when you have your own higher video than his own when you cannot do what a man do you have no right to talk about him because you are not in the same level and you are not in the same qualification you are not in the same spiritual balance you are too far canal for whom tb joshua is to open up your mouth he later on to had that crystal Kuti is suffering from insanity to even saying that he wanted to rule the country nigeria when I see you saying you wanted to rule Nigeria, I see that you are suffering from insanity. You need a dirty slap to correct your senses. Still addressing the Koti, Odumeje mentioned that he does not reply to people with stories but with dirty spiritual weapon. And when I see you say you want to rule Nigeria, I see you that you, you are suffering from a... Uh, I don't know. I, you are suffering from insanity. You need to. Be, you need. To, you need a dirty slap to collect your senses. And don't listen to me. I don't reply people with the stories. I reply them with the deadly spiritual weapon. But the major later added that he's not like Apostle John Sulema who called police on those people that offended him. Though he never mentioned his name, Plan B TV crew noticed that he was referring to Apostle John Sulema who just recently arrested a YouTuber for criticizing him over his miracle money. But the major went further to explain that he don't call police nor lawyer on anybody and a man of power is said. He called on the Christianity communities to call Okoti to order to desist from speaking heel against TV Joshua, he said. A one man of God can call police. I don't call police. I don't call lawyer. I am a man of power. One day, a jili fena wabala, a yagweb. Emmanuel TB Joshua can be a preacher of love, but I am in double skipper Jose. I'm not a preacher of love. If I attack me mistakenly, I will kill you by correcting you. If you talk against TB Joshua, the Emmanuel in the public or Facebook stick against him, wait for my fight. I will answer you in a spiritual altar. Wait for me. Enough is enough. Nobody speak against TB Joshua. It's an a warning to the world. Don't say I did not warn anybody. 
you know who is in Daboski. My battle status with an issue. Prophet Joshua Igala, the general overseer of the Champion Royal Assembly, had berated Crystal Cotis of the household of God's church over his comment against the late prophet Timito Mebalogun Joshua of the synagogue of all nations. Igala also rebuked the Nigerian pastors for their attack on TV Joshua after he died. He insisted that Okoti and those pastors attacking cannot do the things the prophet TV Joshua did in a thousand years to come. I heard that Pastor Kri, um, is it Chris Okoti or Okoti talking about TV Joshua? After a man has died, gone to glory, we've laid him to rest, the whole place is calm, the family are feeling the pains of the loss of their loved one. When they ask me, why, why do you like defending? I'm not defending, I'm in the prophetic ministry. You shoot an arrow, I will shoot it back to you. You talking that is using that and that, that I was not born again, analyzing the name Joshua. My name is Joshua. So it is now an error to bear Joshua. That if you bear Joshua, it means you are occultic because it is Yahushua. That he was sharing the same name with Christ. So you bearing Chris, are you not sharing the same name with Christ? Pastor Chris Okoti is a disgrace to the body of Christ. How, how do you talk about the dead? in this manner how how don't you know that those who live in glass house don't throw stones to others in glass house you did politics you failed ministry you failed i've told you if you live one thousand years you cannot stand the exploit of prophet tb joshua i'm not talking as a small man He's my friend and I was connected to him and I'm not ashamed. And I'm, when I hear him, he's talking because he wants to be, me be famous when I'm already famous. Okotie is having a mental problem. He needs a psychiatric attention. My name is Joshua Ikela. Chris Okoti, leave prophet TB Joshua. My name is Joshua Ikela. I am alive. Face me, leave the dead and face me. See, what is the offense of Prophet Bibi Joshua? Sit down, sit down, sit down. What is the offense? You hear, you hear some people say, a, a, a man that we don't know how he got born again. Please, so when have you become the timekeeper of the people who get born again? Are you the one that converts them? Are we answerable to you? Some hypocritical holiness vampire confuse preachers in the name of in the name of Rema. If you cannot stand his success and breakthrough, and you don't understand it, on the last day when we get to heaven, we will see those who will enter hellfire and who will be in heaven. You will be so surprised to see Prophet D.B. Joshua in heaven. And some of you vampires, you are going to be surprised that you miss heaven. Stop judging. We are not answerable to you. The timetable of who make heaven and enter hell is not in your hands. Say, 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 the man say he was born again in his mother's womb. And so what? In Jeremiah, did the Bible say, in the womb of my mother, as the Lord anointed me to be prophet? He said in the womb, Jeremiah was not only born again in the womb of his mother, he did ordination service in the womb of his mother as a prophet. What is wrong with you? Quoting scripture with two sides. I'm, I sit down, please. I don't understand what is going on with the body of Christ. We know you don't. We know you people don't love him. We know you people hate him. 
at least the man has gone now allow him to rest allow him to rest allow him to rest if you don't know what to do face me face me prophet Igala wonder why pastor crystal coat here we are attacking tv joshua even in dead addressing his member the clergy man said when my friend tv joshua died and was called to glory when i saw pastor writing all manners of jargons and i felt what a wicked generation we are pastor hated this man in a lifetime and even after god has called him to glory i felt bad in the spirit when i heard crystal Cote talking about the dead a man who has gone to glory you are still born to talk about him in a sarcastic manners and you felt you have the holy ghost inside you what prophet TV Joshua have done if you have to live a thousand years you cannot undo or do what he has done if you hated TV Joshua so much what about his wife and what about his children do you extend your hatred to them what kinds of generations are we bringing up what kinds of Christianity are we practicing what is the offense of TV Joshua just because he is different from them what kind of life is this how do you stand up? You don't even think about this we the widow, the children. Which kind of men of God do we have in this country? What level of wickedness? What righteousness does Okoti have? Does Chris Okoti have to begin to judge Prophet Tibi Joshua? What righteousness? What just ground do you have? Can Chris Okoti stand any of the wise men that TB Joshua raised up? In Esprit, can you stand there? If you don't have what to do, shut up and sit down. Chris Okoti, I'm talking to you. Keep quiet. Meanwhile, a clergyman, man, the senior pastor of Divine Mercy Church, Olatobi Lolba, Peter, who revealed that TB Joshua did not make it to heaven despite his work. So this is it guys, I want you guys to comment your thoughts about this in the comment sections. It is quite easy for the Christian bodies to say, do not judge the men of God and don't judge for you not to be judged. On the other hand, ever since Prophet TV Joshua died, a lot of men of God have crossed these boundaries of the world they have been saying, don't judge. A lot of them have been judging him, is it right for men of God to be criticizing one another? Or what is your point about this? We want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Alright guys, do not forget to subscribe or visit our YouTube channel if you are viewing this video from Facebook. Or if you are already viewing it from YouTube, please do not leave this video without it commenting. I really do appreciate you all for your massive love, for your kindness and for the growth of this platform. Alright guys, on behalf of the Plan B TV crew, we say we love you and thank you for the massive love and care.